It's okay, just hang on my lips as I dispense knowledge carelessly. So, Ms. Madam Speaker, number one, should I be found dead by the roadside? Madam Speaker, you don't need to go and do a diagnosis. Madam Speaker, you don't need to go and do a postmortem for the cause of the death. There are only three possibilities. Possibility number one, humility. Madam Speaker, I fear I'm too humble for this life. And I urge the Tanga Tanga Brigade to be humble or you be humbled the way we have humbled you. Number two, Madam Speaker, should I escape? Madam Speaker, I've really tried to escape being killed by humility, but I will not avoid being killed by the fatal injury from wisdom. Madam Speaker, in fact, when I woke up today morning, I realized that I'm wiser than I was yesterday. And as I'm speaking, I'm now wiser than I was two seconds ago. And I know, Madam Speaker, that in life you are either wise or otherwise. And that has been exhibited by the Tanga Tanga Brigade that they are otherwise, but not wise. Number three, Madam Speaker, I want to tell you that the third thing that will kill me is the megalomaniac nature of the Tanga Tanga MPs. The frivolousness, the fickleness, the irresoluteness, and the effeminate. Just shut up when an intelligent man is talking. Shut up when an intelligent man is talking. Madam Speaker, I know you have liquid intelligence, so you may not fathom what I'm talking about. You can you go where you belong. Order members. Now, Madam Order Speaker, members. just leave him. I can kick his head circumphoniously. Thirdly, Madam Speaker, if, if, if my humility, if my wisdom, if my humility, if my wisdom, and if the frivolousness of the Tanga Tanga MPs shall, shall continue to increase contemporaneously, then I fear my life is in danger. Madam Speaker, with that as it may, I vote yes and do not subject us in the same house with these foolish Tanga Tanga MPs. In fact, a half of them are stupid.